Hi. How are you? I hope you're having a decent Tuesday. Um, and hope all is well in your world. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't already, kindly hit subscribe, wherever it may be there. And um, please keep liking and leaving your comments. It's, it's wonderful to interact. I do really appreciate it. I massively appreciate it. I'm addicted to YouTube at the moment, so it's great to have you here uh, with me. And I knew this video was coming. Um, I knew that the injury that Beth Mead sustained on Saturday night against Manchester United was a bad Um And it's a, you have to go back to Saturday night at the Emirates and realise that she was in floods of tears. She, you know, she was helped off. She was clearly visibly upset. She'd gone down, she'd sat down a, a good few times. And when you watch back the footage, you actually see the knee wobble. Um, and it's bad. It's bad. Arsenal have confirmed that Beth Mead will be out for an extended period of time because of an anterior cruciate ligament injury. Another ACL, another one. Um, for Beth, this is... I, I can't even begin to imagine the highs of the highs that she's had this year and now coming into the lows of the lows. You know, it's definitely one extreme to another. And I feel so sorry for Beth Mead. I do, because she's she really is a real good guy. Um, and a really lovely, lovely person. And a chatty, good old northerner who seems to make everyone smile. And this is going to be probably a tough time from her. You know, you know what Beth Mead's like. She'll probably come out smiling and full of a chat, but this is a this is a major injury. You know, it's a season defining injury. We've seen it happen time and time again. Um, and why? Why is it happening to women more often? I was actually just reading up on ACL injuries there, and I know this isn't a, a secret or something not everybody knows, but women are three and a half to five times more likely of sustaining an ACL injury. Sometimes hormones might come into play, um, which is really interesting, but there has to be that close attention as to why it's happening and how it can be prevented. I um, also was reading that women have less muscle around their knee, um, which could be a factor. And also women are more, they have more looseness, I think I read. Therefore can be more flexible and, and sometimes that can rupture and, and cause um, injuries like an anterior cruciate ligament injury. Um, Alexa Pateas, we all know on the, the eve of the Euros, suffered an ACL. We've seen the pictures of Pernella Harder uh, recovering from her ACL uh, operation. Um, Remy Allen uh, from Aston Villa is recovering from an ACL injury at the moment. I think Simone McGill's is an ACL as well. Um, and everybody's saying it's just such an, a tough injury to come back from. You know, it, it's such a, a, bad, a bad one. And you've got to look at what Beth's just done just so recently and it just shows you how precious things are. Um, and I feel so sorry for her, you know, she's spoken out, well she hasn't spoken out, but she left the England camp um, for that friendly international tournament there and um, left to go home because of family circumstances. She said that obviously it's tough with her mum being unwell uh, and suffering from cancer just now. Um, and now this injury that takes you out for quite a, a lengthy period of time. Uh, Arsenal said she will see a surgeon in the coming days after which further details on timescales will be established. Um, where does this leave Arsenal now? I would say in crisis. I would, because that was a beaten from Manchester United. You might disagree with me, but Manchester United, I felt were better. Um, Beth, obviously this has happened to. You're missing Kim Little. Not sure when what the update is then when she'll be back, but it's quiet, isn't it? Uh, we know that Lee Williamson, I think, was back on a pitch. Did did Arsenal post that recently? Rafael Souza, um, as well injured. Um, did Lena Hartig have a knock? Um, it's just it's like dropping like flies. But when you're without your talisman, uh, talisman who has been so part of everything this season, last season, across the Euros, on the big stage. 
I can't help but but really feel for Arsenal now and be a little bit concerned for them. And you'll probably agree with me there. I think it, maybe it's not the time to talk about it, but you can't help but wonder where their league's going to go now because they should they should be beating Manchester United. They should be. They've still got Chelsea to face. They've still got City to face. And they've got Champions League. So Champions League this week's against Juventus away not having Beth not having those other key players that we've mentioned that we've already known was an issue with them being out I am concerned I'm massively concerned for where Arsenal are going forward in the league campaign I wish all the best and speedy recoveries to all of the players involved because I really really want it for Arsenal this season but you can't help but feel a little bit concerned with this injury crisis I call it a crisis you know, manager Jonas Edeval is probably looking and going, okay, we're feeling a bit threadbare with our starting a living now. What is the next step? And the truth is, nobody's as experienced and confident at this moment in time as Beth Mead. Um, like I say, I can only so feel so sorry for her, just so, so sorry for her. It feels like such a massive shock. Um, but like I say, I had a feeling this one was coming and I can only... Send best wishes to Beth. Um, best wishes. I know she got a bit of heat. What's this? <laughs> Bless me. A couple of weeks ago, um, in the international window, uh, to do with Qatar and um, to do with um, other things. So, you, know, you know the the whiteness of the England team. Uh, I believe she got a bit of heat for that, and I, and I was reading that going. This isn't Beth. This isn't Beth Mead. You know she's such a nice person. She really is such a nice person. Um, and in the times that I've come across her, she's just so cheery, so likeable, so nice, so energetic, lifts the room. And I just hope that she has everybody around her to push her through and get through this tough time. And I hope Arsenal can rally and get through this tough time as well. But I, I don't know how Arsenal season continues fine at the minute. I think it's a real problem. It's a real shock to the system. It already has been... A number of key players fallen and now Beth Mead has a ruptured ACL. I don't even want to begin to think about what it means for the World Cup next year. But you have to you have to realise that that is a very strong possibility that an ACL injury can last for a year. A year, mostly, usually nine months. So what does that do for her in the World Cup? I, I imagine she will be focused and pushing and doing all that she can to be fit and ready. But this will, might be out of her control um, well, we've seen it happen to so many players I just hope that there is something that can be found out and we can be really educated on it to know better um, but it could just be one of those things um, but uh, amazing how it's just this higher risk in women uh, athletes for in, in football uh, as well but yeah that's I feel a bit downbeat I feel very downbeat naturally um, I feel a bit of got it absolutely got it um best wishes beth mates thank you for watching please subscribe you can let me know what you think um of beth and let me know what you think of arsenal's chances in the league this season now that now that beth's out as well gosh it's just non-stop it's absolutely non-stop it's like they're being ravaged at the minute um okay have a good one have a good night and sorry this was such a downbeat vid